Hi, I'm Marco, and I'm a rising junior at Dalton School. For my third and final milestone, I completed coding the robot. Um, so there's going to be a demo down below, so you can check that out if you want to see it. Uh, so this uh, last process was a lot of trial and error for me, um, because I had to implement the code with the hardware, uh, and I'm not really used to working with hardware by myself that much, so getting the code to work with the hardware that I had was really difficult. Um, one, because the center of mass of the robot is exactly um, in the center of the robot, so I had to do uh, some calculations with my code and do a lot of trial and error to figure out how to get my robot to turn straight. Um, and I also had to use gyro correction um, when I was actually moving, because even with my corrections, uh, it was still pretty inconsistent. Um, so for me, this was a big part of learning how to work with hardware um, in a way that I haven't before, uh, because I never have never really worked with something that you know I planned out myself without anybody else's guidance. Um, and I kind of had to deal with that when I worked with my software because um, a lot of the planning came while I was building rather than before. Uh, so this really taught me, this project overall really taught me how um, and what I should plan for, uh, which is pretty much everything. Uh, I kind of winged a part of it uh, as I went on because I had some ideas what I wanted to do, but I didn't really have it in concrete form. So next time I do a project by myself, I'm really going to plan it out before I do it and really do my research. Um, so yeah, a lot, of, at least two or three weeks were spent um, implementing hardware with code because of how, uh, how much inconsistencies I had with this robot. Um, but it's been a really good experience because I've learned a lot about myself and my own process and how I deal with problems. Um, and I've also learned about um, how to deal with problems, which is prepare for problems to happen because they're inevitably going to happen. Um, thanks so much for watching.